You may have seen a robot jumping and doing backflips, an autonomous car driving in high speed, or a rocket landing back on Earth. All these groundbreaking achievements have something in common. They need more than simple feedback control, they need trajectory planning and stabilization. We would like to show you a system that we have developed to teach trajectory planning. We took ball and hoop system to the next level. We taught the ball to fly. The model can be controlled using MATLAB Simulink and Raspberry Pi. The model is composed of several components. The hoop is driven by our open design motor driver and a brushless motor with an absolute magnetic encoder. The outer and inner hoops consist of rubber o-rings and several 3D printed parts. The brain of the model is Raspberry Pi, which can be easily interfaced with Simulink and which communicates with the motor driver. For position feedback, we're using Raspberry Pi camera with light scavenged from LED bulb. And finally, the last piece is a small control panel. Controllers running on Raspberry Pi can be designed and tested right from Simulink. This is a basic control scheme. The free running script in Python detects position of the ball and sends it to the Simulink through shared memory with sampling frequency 50 Hz. We estimate all the states of the mathematical model. First, we equalize delays of all measurements. Then we estimate the delayed states by an extended Kalman filter. And finally, we compensate for the delay. The communication with the motor driver is implemented as a system object. We can send a requirement on a desired position or torque and read back the measured angle, velocity and current. Here we use a simple static state feedback for stabilization of the ball on the outer hoop and controlling position of the hoop. Now we can just press the run button. Simulink converts the scheme into an executable application and runs it on Raspberry Pi. We have to wait a moment. Furthermore, we can change the desired angle of the hoop in real time and see the measured signal in the scopes. This is how the simplest state feedback controller looks like. When we want to stabilize a trajectory of a flying ball, the scheme gets a bit more complicated. Now the reference is not static, but it is a time series obtained by trajectory optimization. Such a trajectory can look like this. Besides, we need to switch between two extended Kalman filters depending on the current position of the ball. Let's test this trajectory stabilization controller. And now in slow motion. So this is our flying ball in the hoop and you can build one of your own because the design is open.